channel blend is used here, the others where it's all unchecked and disabled. And it comes after the composite button. Uh, so it applies to everything below. Everything else has to fully composite and then the channel blend can stick it in the alpha channel, the bottom row settings. Here are the two colors, yellow, red, multiply with the uh, generated media circle. Uh, this track here, well, Applied mass generator used alpha uh, low end set at 0.85 to help th thin the line. So it's a thin instead of the uh, feathered gradient. You can see how thin it is. It also gives a little more, well, it's not gradient on the edges anymore. Yeah, the uh, mass generator was also, on well, alpha was also helped to uh, make the, uh, it makes the uh, yellow circles full white. So when I multiply yellow times white and red is multiplied by white, you get a good multiply. Otherwise, when uh, yellow multiplied by the original, uh, or white multiplied by the original yellow was uh, yeah, okay, but when red was multiplied by yellow, it kind of looked uh, dark outer fringe on it, so that cleaned that up. Here again is the animation, classic mask generator. This is the only keyframing to make the animation, that's it. Uh, nothing else. And a little Gaussian blur help to uh, hide any uh, yeah, discontinuities in the uh, masking. <laughs> Pretty much the same technique I've been using since the first one I did like this, except, uh, well, if you can come up with something new, you can make something different. Here, I finally made a full 360. Well, I did that in the previous video with the uh, rustic looking picture frame draw, but here I used a circle. It draws in yellow and then it erases in red. And to pull something off that's a little more, I can do more than one thing in one direction. I had to use a uh, multiple gradients. So you see here there's two gradient sections on that track and the track below it there are two gradient sections so that's four pieces of gradient to make this work. Zero degree on the on that one and this one here is 180 out. The one below it is just the opposite 180 out. And then the second piece under the red is zero. Gradient settings are untouched, didn't tweak them at all. The bottom two tracks are muted, they are being used. Your DVD A, DVD Architect I only show the uh, the new well scenes button that has the a new uh, frame video. This is the and again uh, media properties pre-multiply for the alpha. It's the only place to uh, get any uh, I don't know alpha blending of any kind, the uh, pan and crop alpha slider does nothing. Yeah, 24 frames per second, 640 
by 360, that's a 16 by 9 with a 1 0 aspect ratio. And these alpha settings here do nothing anymore. So it advise making everything with an alpha channel, which I use for the blend mode on a track 1. So I added an extra button, the subtitles button, so I could scroll off so I could see all three frame animation videos play on the buttons. And see what the highlights look like. And then the subtitle goes red too. Video for Windows making the uh, three videos. It might help to uh, when you're using the uncompressed to uh, have it uh, interleave every frame. It's settings in the render template after you uh, select uncompressed video for Windows. It'll show. Uh, it'll become available. And I manually set the uh, resolution to 640, 360, 24 FPS. And 32 bit with alpha checkbox at the bottom in the render template. So you can like make a lot of different kind of uh, animated buttons, unique buttons for DVDA.